Guys, we're in Moe's Astro Lab. One of these, it, it looks the getting all this in and And it is. This is my favorite one. Though. It's this. This is incredibly this. Poop asked me if you'd done this before. I said, "Well, he's done two of them in the last three days, probably." <laughs> this is an AVX mount, and it is sick. Let's do a swing test on it before we get a counterbalance a little before and an after pretty sad This is the surgery table. One of three. Surgery table number two. This assembly begins. I need to let you guys know what the overall goal of this is. It is to replace the bearing in the RA axis on the AVX mount. I'm having difficulties getting over a minute subs when doing a long exposure. And hopefully this is going to help. There. This is the deck axis, and believe it or not, it has to be removed to get to the RA axis. Don't drop it. Boom. Deck is off. Moving on to the RA. And either too tight or too loose from the factory. Will they become loose in time? I think probably from the factory. To be honest, this one doesn't feel too bad. And what are we doing to the deck adapter? We have to... Uh, this is the way they system they make it. So take this motor and this bracket off, you have to take off those two allens and those two allens. But to get to these two allens, you must take this motor off. Another odd thing they did is to correctly tension these gears. This gear has to be on here with this gear. But to tension them, you have to tighten up this allen, this allen, and this allen, two of which are behind this gear. So you have to put the gear on, tighten this allen up, pull the gear off, tighten these two islands back up, put the gear back on. So it's kind of a 
odd design for part of their tightening system. This was a no manual. No. No, I had to figure that out as I went. Okay, one worm gear removed. Well, the motor drive gear has been removed. I'm now going to remove the the motor. This is the worm gear down here. To get to it, got to take this motor off. Okay, motor is removed and now we're accessing which part? The, this is the worm gear assembly. You can see that one was not even, uh, I would barely even call that one finger tight. And that's part of what some people complained. This part here is the worm gear assembly. That's what the motor turns this gear, this worm gear engages to this, to these teeth. And that's what actually turns them out. Guys, when you're finding, discovering periodic error because of gear and backlash, uh, this is where it happens, where this gear interface connects to the other gear interface. This is your where your periodic error comes from, that engagement. This is where your backlash error comes from when the motor's in there. If these are too loose, one of them has to move a lot more. You want the teeth have to be meshed properly, but not too tight. All, all balancing act. Okay. A part and a piece. <laughs> part and a piece. Have two set screws in here. It has to be loosened in order to take this ring off. I'm not sure if the actual tool will work on this or not. This tool you're using looks very proprietary for this. Nope, it's just a standard. It has Plugs also pair a appropriate size needle nose pliers will work also. Now everything comes apart. In there, so kinda, should be a washer here. That's kind of how the hole. That's basically how the whole thing goes together on this side.
surfaces we're concerned with is this bearing surface and this bearing surface just inside these threads here. There's a surface there, a surface there. This, even though it's shiny, is not a bearing surface. This one inside mates with this surface. The deeper one inside the far end mates with this surface. We're going to polish them up. The inside of this, there are two surfaces here and here that both contact. It goes on this way. One contacts here, another one contacts about here. You don't really seem to have any wear problems, but we'll polish it up anyway. See, there's some buildup there. I don't see any major problems though. But basically removing the old grease. Yeah, for the most part, because I'm gonna. Then gonna... we'll polish and then re grease. Yeah. yeah. Right in there. Come on, Robert, my camera. That's the, the gray is metal. Small amounts of the material that I'm removing. Yeah, the little grooves are gone. Most of them, yeah. Nicely polished. Yeah, well, that's the proper thing is a bench grinder and a buffing wheel. I don't have one. Okay, mirror glaze, McGuire. with the point of applying lithium grease. It's sticky enough to where it'll never Apply run out. And then remove excess. Then I'll uh, keep that surface from touch. More lubing, more lithium grease applied. Reassembly of the DEC which is not even the focus of this video, which is the RA axis bearing. But, as Professor Mo says, while you've got them out, do them all. Then you can't. Too tight. If it's too tight, I can barely turn it. Versus a half a turn too loose so I have to get rid of that and still turn freely and then this also has to turn freely as your clutch release so your mount will turn as you release the clutch like a motorcycle chain too tight and you're dead too loose and you're dead. Yeah. That. A little bit of thread lock.
I have to put the top gear on, get it to where it feels right. Tighten the top motor bolt. Then I have to take the gear back off. Get that in the other two. Not a not a wonderful design. There's some backlash right there. It's mechanical due to the motor that there's no way to get rid of that. These need to be tight, but there is a setting on your mount for a backlash. So that side is now done. This is the declination axis motor and axis itself reassembled, polished, buffed, cleaned, lubricated. Now moving on to the real target, which is the right ascension bearing. Rip his head off. There it is. The next step, the whole goal is to get this inside of here. It's there. The disassembly of the RA axis. I'm calling it that, but I'm sure it's got a better name. Counting screws like a surgeon count sponges. Seems like that's going to get in the way somewhere sometime. Nope. cover it's such a pain to take off Like uh, put it back on, it's gonna be a bigger thing. Yeah. Now yeah, I've got to, I've got to go wash my hands real quick. Odor. That Pat Benatar. Mm hmm. Never happened to her. I don't know. I don't know. She got ugly when she got old. She was short and cute back in the day. Here's not cooperating. 
shouldn't be anything holding on there now. Take the set screws way out, but they're practically out now. No friend of mine. underneath the motor so you can't get to them. Same deal, worm gear. This is actually the encoder. So it knows there's a slot that goes through an infrared beam there. And it can tell, knows where it is as it's turning. It's in focus, but that's how periodic error correction knows how to it apply it. There's an infrared sensor here that's shining a light, and whenever this slot right there, if you can see it, whenever that slot goes through the light beam, the set of beams, it knows where it is. So it indexes to a certain point where that slot is. And that's when it starts to replay the periodic error correction to help correct for worm gear. You have a nut and then a lock, a tightener. If it's too loose, it'll wiggle this way. If it's too tight, this is extremely difficult to turn. This is adjusted correctly. There's no slop and it turns freely, so. They had that one, that one. I think I'm getting ready, getting closer to seeing the bearing. Very close. This is the Lazy Susan bearing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it really is, isn't it? There's the other half of the Lazy Susan. The bearing that we were actually trying to get to is right here. this on the shaft and this race will go in there where that bearing is. This is the new bearing right here. That's the new bearing, yep. New bearing folks. But before it can go in a little clean up. I'm gonna take a tea break. I've got a little tea. Machine begins again. Yeah. Sanding, polishing, lubing. Just like we did with the deck, now it's the RA.
tightly. What reminds you of Johnny Quest? Mm -hmm. What does? Remember the character Race Bannon? Oh. Was, was he not on Johnny Quest? Nope. Okay. not be able to get that out. Your new bearing will be in there like that. Except this part will be over here. Yeah, I'm not. That's not doing what I wanted it to do. This way. I'm going to come back out. At an angle. At an angle, yeah. The bearing. Ta da! I like to put a little bit of grease on the bottom of my tightener, that way it tightens down more evenly. How tight? Till it's right. Just like the other one, it's going to be a back and forth game. I guess they're proud of themselves. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you really like to know how many uh, congressmen and senators that get a paycheck from China? She would put her pocketbook up right here and she would push food over into it. <laughs> I said, you know that's illegal. That's stealing. She said, you eat what you need here. You don't be hauling food home. She goes, shh. So she was getting two or three meals out of her one meal that she bought while she was there. Is that okay? How do you feel about that? I don't have a problem with it. Breaking food off into your pocketbook? No, if, if you've already got it, what are they going to do? They're going to put it to trash. Yeah. Of course, the top on that is that you should have got it. You got it. You got more food than you were gonna eat, knowing you were gonna take it home. So you know, that doesn't bother me. She was probably not the only one. A little senior game in the system. You know, uh, going to Nicholsville and freezing my fingers off is actually more fun than this. But this was a good experience to see what's actually inside one of these things. Yeah, 
I say there's many a great astrophotographer who's never darkened this door. Wouldn't you think? Or you think most of the really good ones actually take them apart, fiddle with them, tweak them, grease them, sand them, polish, pile. Is it close? I like um, the older music that we sing. I like it. Well, this is my 80s mix. Made personally? Yeah, I am. I don't even see what's playing the music. Did you burn a CD or is it from my phone? To a USB speaker? Nice. We could do my. My writing mix. It's a little more violent. No, we don't need violent. No. This could be illegal, though, don't you know? Makes me go fast. That sounds good. You know any Boston? I'm a big Boston fan. I don't have. Well, probably inside I do. That's a good. Make you go fast music. Does it work? Oh, yeah. Quad Zombie really gets me going. Quad ACDC. So it makes you go fast on there. Let's sit for a moment. I think we're about there. That's where you broke the part. Huh. I kind of like the same music a little bit. Everybody thinks ACDC, a lot of people that don't like them, I guess, think that ACDC stood for Against Christ Devil's Children. The name came from the back of their mother's sewing machine. She made all of their clothes when they first started. And her uh, sewing machine had a label on the back that said ACDC. Because it would work off AC power or DC power. That's where the band got their name. No, I never even mulled over. How they got their name? Huh? I never mulled it over. I mean, the Beatles named themselves after a bug. I'm just now noticing the JBL speaker. 
Those are really nice. Uh, I'll probably get it for Now. Right ascension motor almost back on. Control board beneath. I'm not crazy about <laughs> going back and forth with this board. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. Keeps the board and cables from getting snagged or anything while I'm working on the doing the gears. This is, if you, if you see the gears, I don't know if you can zoom in on them. I don't know if I can get them to focus, but I see the gap between them, yeah. That's what you have to, that's what this is properly adjusting here. Problem is with their system, it seems like when I tighten up the, take this gear back off, it's difficult. Mo's done several AVX mounts, and this is the part that he breaks. Will this be another one? Try to gently put it back on. It is spindly plastic, so... way of putting it on, it, it just goes right in place. But I have yet to find it. right screws in the right places and there are one two three five different types of screws for this one set of covers three old bearings show that Mo has done this to three AVX mounts within the last four or five days Memorized.
Much easier. Yay, reassembly's complete. It'll be like a brand new mount, only better. Better. Here's the test. Four hours of work. Yeah. <laughs> it, you can tell though, it's it's changed, hasn't Way it? Way better, yeah. Yeah. Well, it helped the uh... Well, it's gonna help the motor too. The motor's gonna work much less. Ta-da! And here he is, folks. Wave high. <laughs> That's pretty, uh, pretty incredible.